London from Fireflash. London from Fireflash. Come in, London. It's no use. The radio's dead. We've lost contact with them. Oh, no, we haven't. Not altogether. Alan, Virgil, do you read me? Sure do, Scott. Loud and clear. The Fireflash radio circuit is non-functional. Now, we're going to have to relay messages to London via Allen in the space station. The gather is pretty desperate. Is that right? Yeah. The EPU is negative. How about the standby? Well, that's gone, too. It looks as if Fireflash is taking one colossal crash dive into the Atlantic Ocean. I just can't get the nose up. Scott, I've been through to London and explained about the EPU and radio failures. They say you should bail out and let them pick you up. Bail out? If we do that, we'll never know what the fault in Fireflash was. And so we'll be back to square one. Okay, Scott. It looks like we're gonna have to try that little scheme we discussed earlier. How long have we got till the Fireflash hits the water? Well, judging by the present rate of descent, I'd say we've got about 15 minutes. Did you get that? We've got 15 minutes. Right. Be seeing you. I hope. <laughs> Okay, Scott. Hold the fire flash dead steady. We'll adjust it from this end. It's going to be tricky, but we can do it safely, provided we don't get too much turbulence. All right, Virgil. Is Gordon ready? All set, Gordon. Yep. Ready to go. All right. Open the hatch. What'd you say, Gordon? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm just seeing things, that's all. Right. Stand by to enter a wing. into the starboard wing of the fire flash and is checking the place out. How long is that going to take, Alan? That depends on what he finds when he gets in there. Where should I start then? The EPU should be situated somewhere near the pyrometer cylinders. Yeah, I think I can see them. I'm gonna try and get a little closer. Well, what's the height now? 40,000 feet. We've got less than four minutes. been cut hey what the blazes was that it sounded like a shot it couldn't be all right international rescue i'm ready for you come on out look i don't know what your game is but there's some pretty vital pieces of equipment around here that we don't want to smash if we can help it who are you kidding this aircraft is finished and you know it in just a couple of minutes more it's gonna make a mighty big splash in the ocean and then disappear like all the others One and a half minutes. Hey, what the heck is going on in the way? I 
shouldn't jump if I were you. Your parachute would never open in time. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> going on well, answer please come in Gordon look Scott there's no time to explain we've had an uninvited guest lossing up the works in here but I guess he won't give any more trouble Gordon we've got 30 seconds left before we hit the water that's too late to bail out can you fix the EPU no Scott I couldn't remake the joint in time it would take too long 10 seconds Tracy National Rescue Organization, the fire flash run from London to San Francisco is to be resumed next week. Police authorities in London have completed their investigations into the sabotaging of the aircraft and state that the efforts of International Rescue have led to the unmasking of the international gang bent on aircraft espionage. Particular stress was laid on the... Oh, for Pete's sake. Just at the most interesting part. Oh, dear, I am sorry. Tintin and I were just putting the apple pies in the oven and the darn fuse blew. Oh, I'm sure Gordon will soon fix that, Grandma. Yeah, you remember what you said after the fire flash episode, Gordon? Just like fixing a fuse, you said. Here I go again. <laughs> <laughs>